Hi, I'm Fallon. I'm 16 years old and I go to Onehunga High School. I'm looking at the career of warehousing and distribution. Every day, over $200 million worth of goods move in and out of New Zealand. A lot of it is handled by reliable and flexible warehousing and distribution companies like Limfox. The operation involves three aspects, warehousing, the storage and sorting of product, customer services, liaising with customers, and distribution, the transport of products to customers. G'day, Fallon. How are you going? My name's Paul. I'm the site manager here. Welcome to Linfox. Thank you. Good to see you've got your safety footwear on. Yep. Here is a safety vest, which uh, we have to wear all times while on site. We're pretty big on safety here. The Linfox warehouse is a very busy place, and health and safety is always a top priority. So Fallon receives a full safety briefing and site induction talk before she starts any work. Let's go. Thanks. A number of major food manufacturers use this warehouse as a storage and distribution centre. About 99% of the product we get in here is imported in containers, uh, most of it out of Australia. The operation devans those containers at the back. The pallets are then checked in, put away into the racks. The orders then come through to us from our clients and we run the pick-pack operation, so it can be one carton or a full pallet, and that's all controlled by this one desk here for the whole shed. And all of the orders are sent out to the pickers to do their work on these RF units. So if they follow the instructions from here, nothing can go wrong. Once the order is being picked, it's wrapped, then moved to the staging area for trucking to customers, like supermarkets and shops. Cool, just through here. <sighs> Welcome to what, 35... <sighs> and a half thousand pallets looks like. Wow. We go seven high, we've got a staff of about 80 to 100 full-time equivalents, and we go across two shifts starting at 6 a.m. going through to midnight. Yeah. Cool, let's go. Okay. My role here is that I'm the site manager, and what that means is I have plenty of contact with the staff on the floor, sorting out any issues that may occur with them, but also offering encouragement and support to them. Plus also with our clients, making sure that they've got no issues, helping them out with any difficulties they may have. So here we go, Fallon. Here's one of the picking machines that we use to pick our clients' orders on. It's uh, electric powered, very nice and easy to use, a little bit like a uh, video game. Yeah. I'm sure you'll have no problems adjusting to this. Do you want to get on and have a quick wee go? Yeah. <laughs> so here's the steering wheel, side to side, yeah. backwards and forwards, and up and down. After Paul has instructed Fallon in driving the picking machine, it's time to head out into the racks. Here we come, coming down. There it is, AN209A1. Yeah. Yep, you just level with it there. So what we need to do now is use the RF gun. The RF gun is used to scan the shelf, then the product, to check the right quantity is being picked. As a double check, the quantity left at the pick face is also calculated. So 44, 42. Cool, we're on to the next one. Where does that say now? Um, go to AN200 A1. Which way is that? That way. What does that mean? Reverse. Thank you. Fallon, <laughs> <laughs> where are you going? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm too far. <laughs> Jokes. A N two hundred A one. So what do you do now? The gun, Don't correct. Oh, well, I first started working in a warehouse when I was out of university as a holiday job, and just continued going, and just slowly went further and further and further up the chain. And um, every opportunity that was presented to me, I took it. Yep, sixty four. Excellent. Fallon's catching on fast, but there's so much more that can be learnt. Transpol is the industry training organisation that handles qualifications for the warehousing and distribution industry. Robert Aiden is Transpol's communications advisor. For someone who's entering a role such as this straight from school, they could possibly get into the Level 2 Distribution and Warehousing National Certificate. That would be a really great start where they could come in and be working full time, they could earn while they learn without a student loan, and from there the opportunities are endless. Fallon's made the most of this job opportunity by mastering reversing. Customer services is another important aspect of the operation, and Suzanne Restio, Limfox's New Zealand Fleet Administrator, shows Fallon what's involved. So what we do in, in this office is we handle all the queries for our customers um, when they call in. 
Uh, the customer service role basically is with the point of contact for our, all of our customers. Uh, they come to us with any queries and uh, we help them out as, um, as much as we can with uh, the warehousing or the transport side of things. So we all go and source um, what the problem is, fix it, and then go back to them um, and give them their solution. So everything has a solution as far as we're concerned. So what, what we need to do next is we just need to confirm with our customer that we've got the, the pickup request and um, that we've received it and that it'll be um, actioned as soon as possible for them. Hi, this is Fallon from Linfox. I'm just calling to confirm that we have a pickup. That we have a pickup. 15 cartons for you. For 15 cartons for you. Yeah, the pressure is on in this industry. It's a fast-paced industry. And so um, you're, you're juggling 10 different things at once and you've got to know where you are um, at any point at any time um, in regards to the customer queries. Cool, thank you very much. Bye. It was really good, it was really good. <laughs> In a trainee, you're really looking for someone that's going to turn up, that yeah, reliable, good work ethic, they want to learn as well. Like, put their hands up and say, look, can I learn more? Rather than just sitting back and, you know, carrying on as being one of the flock of sheep. You've got to stand out in a sort of way if you want to get ahead. Well, it's been a busy day for Fallon. She's already dreaming of driving the big forklift called the Reach Truck, but how did she find the job? This is fun. I like it. Fallon was a great girl. She's bright, she's confident, she took on the tasks willingly. Um, I think she'd be an asset uh, for anyone's company. Uh, really pleased with her. Well, I've seen Fallon trying to reverse a picking machine and I know she has gotten better, but putting her up to a reach truck would be like putting her in a Formula One car, I think. Maybe next year. <laughs> <laughs>